okay hi guys so let's start this lecture with a concept which is the variation of entropy of reaction with temperature at constant pressure variation of entropy of reaction with temperature at constant pressure okay so we know that d of delta r can be written as delta r cpm dt upon t and we integrate on both the sides so let's say at temperature t1 we had entropy as delta r1 and at t2 we had entropy as delta r s2 so again two cases arrive in which we have if delta reaction cpm is temperature dependent or rather first let's see temperature independency case temperature independent from t1 to t2 then we can write that delta r s2 minus delta r s1 as delta r cpm ln t2 upon t1 and second case when if delta r cpm is temperature dependent from t1 to t2 then we can write delta r cpm as delta a plus delta bt so we can write delta r s2 minus delta r s1 as delta a ln t2 upon t1 plus or minus rather or we can we can also have either a minus or plus depending upon the sign of delta v so for now i'm writing plus sign here is only so it would be delta v t2 minus t1 okay next let us see the reversible idle gas expansion and compression okay so we know that du is equals to dq plus dw and du can be written as dq can be written as tds as ds is dq reversible by t so dq reversible can be written as ds into t and pw is uh, dw is rather pdp okay and next we can write from here that ds would be equals to du plus pdv divided by temperature okay so this can be written as ds would be equals to du can be written as ncvm dt upon t plus p can be written as nrt upon v 
टाइम्स टी वी अपॉन टी ओके टी एंड टी गेट कैंसल्ड आउट सो वी विल हैव डी एस एस एन सी वी एम डी टी अपॉन टी प्लस एन आर डी वी अपॉन वी लेट्स मार्क इट एज फर्स्ट इक्वेशन नाउ अगेन वी हैव टू केसेस दैट इफ सी वी एम इज टेम्परेचर इंडिपेंडेंट then we can write okay let's twist it this time first let us see if cvm is temperature dependent from t1 to t2 then cvm can be written as a plus bt now substitute this value in the wow equation so we'll be getting delta s would be equals to n a ln t2 upon t1 plus b t2 minus t1 plus nr ln v2 upon b1 okay and second case is if cvm is temperature independent so we can write independent from t1 to t2 so we can write that as you know ds is equals to n cvm dt upon t plus nr dv upon v so delta s can be written as एन सी वी एम एल एन टी टू अपॉइंट टी वन प्लस एन आर एल एन वी टू अपॉइंट वी वन ओके सो जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस फॉर्म next if is if we look that if it is an isothermal process or it is a isothermal ideal gas expansion compression expansion compression then we can write that s t1 would be equal to t2 then delta s can be directly written as nr ln v2 upon v1 okay if it's a isochoric heating or cooling of gas then we can write that it would be equal to as v1 would be equal to v2 so we can write delta s would be equals to n c v m ln t2 upon t1 and for an idle gas we know that p1 v1 upon t1 is equals to p2 v2 upon t2 so we can write that just shifting a bit here we can write that oops we know that p1 v1 is equals to p2 v2 p1 v1 upon t1 equals to p2 v2 upon t2 so we can write v2 upon v1 as p1 upon p2 times t2 upon t1 and similarly delta s can be written as n cvm ln t2 upon t1 plus nr ln v2 upon v1 v2 upon v1 can be substituted from the whole equation p1 upon p2 times t2 upon t1 so this can be written as delta s equals 
एन सी वी एम प्लस आर एल एन टी टू अपॉन टी वन प्लस एन आर एल एन एन आर एल एन पी वन अपॉन पी टू सो सी वी एम प्लस आर कैन रिटनेस एन सी पी एम एल एन टी टू अपॉन टी वन प्लस दिस वुड बी एन आर एल एन पी वन अपॉन पी टू ओके सो विद दिस वी कम टू द एंड ऑफ दिस लेक्चर इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर विल बी सींग मोर ऑन एंड्रॉपी चेंज सो टिल देन गुड लक एंड गुड बाई